Wagwan Massive, I'm Fziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own castor oil. And I'm just going to be doing this project outdoors. So ensure that you stay tuned until the end of this video to see the outcome of this oil and so that you too can make your own castor oil. So these are the castor beans. I'm not doing everything today. And we're just going to roast the beans. So the seeds are extremely hot. So I'm gonna go ahead now to remove the pot from the fire. So I'm going about this the traditional way. I'm gonna be using my mortar and pestle to grind the seeds. And I'm gonna be using a little bit of water. You'll see how I do that in a little bit. Um, but if you don't have a mortar and a pestle you can go ahead and grind your seeds using your grinder or your blender so now i'm going to pour the seeds into the mortar i'm going to gradually add some water to the seeds to start the grinding So at this stage the beans are almost ready and here I have some water in the pot I'm just allowing this to heat up so that as soon as you're finished with the beans we can add the cake to the water So guys, this is about an hour and a half since I've put on the castor oil and it's still going, still needs some more time. It's going to take me about three and a half hours before I'm finished or before this is this completely boils down. And you can see the oil on the top already. So basically, if you have watched my mango butter video, this was the same process that I was trying to use. You know based on the little knowledge that i have i was trying to use that process to make the mango butter but i skipped one of the stages and i think that that is why that butter went wrong also this amount of castor oil is not going to yield a lot of oil because it's less than a pound of seeds or beans so it's not going to yield a lot of oil i'm not expecting much from it so i'm just going to cover back the pot and let it continue to boil and then I will come back and show you what's happening. So you want to ensure that you stir the pot occasionally so that the paste doesn't stick. But you can see more clearly that the oil is rising to the top. Making Jamaican black castor oil is a very tedious process. So people, you gotta value this stuff. So I'm going to cover this up and allow it to continue boiling until the oil completely rises to the top. 
So at this point you can see how much oil is on the top. So I'm going to remove it from the flame now and skim off the oil off the top. I'm just going to pour some water on this and this will allow the rest of the remaining oil to rise to the top and we're just going to skim this off and boil, boil it just for a few minutes to remove the water from it again. So it's not hard so you know even though I'm like telling you the process you will see that it's not hard. So after I finish skimming off the oil out of this, there is still a little bit more left on it. I guess you won't get everything, but um, this is what we get. And I'm just gonna allow the oil to boil down until all of the water is completely evaporated out of it. And then we have 100% Jamaican black castor oil. So already you can see the water evaporating. And it's going to leave the pure oil. So you're going to boil this down until your hair start frying. And that's when you'll know that all of the water has evaporated from it. When you remove the pot from the flame, allow the oil to cool down and then pour. Now that's it for this video thank you for watching and if you have not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe i share on my channel things that i do to live naturally on a budget and also please click the like button if you liked what i just shared and also share this video with your friends thank you see you in the next video